all good things come in twos. Sure, some may say they come in threes, but I just say they're being greedy. Just think of how many iconic things come in pairs. Peanut butter and jelly, tea and biscuits, pineapple and pizza. Oh my god, what sicko wrote this? Video games have been putting their characters in twosomes for about as long as they've had multiplayer. In other words, just about since day one. Whether they're palette swapped adversaries to battle against, or little buddies that your younger sibling can play as, the gaming landscape has become densely populated by all manner of rivals, sidekicks, helpful NPCs, and bad dudes to complement the hero. But it's something special when a duo is more than just a protagonist and their plus one, when they become so intertwined together that they start to feel like a singular character, and you can't even imagine one without the other when they're so defined by their relationship that they become inseparable, sort of like that one couple back in high school that were far too comfortable with public displays of affection. I'm Ashton from Triple Jump, and here are the 10 best dynamic duos in gaming. Number 10, Gomar and Shio, F-Zero series. A friend that you can trust to be by your side in a bad situation is worth their weight in gold. And that goes double when said situation involves hurtling around a thousand kilometers per hour in zero gravity while 29 other people are trying to kill you. Gomar and Shio are two of a dozen of entrants in the annual F-Zero Grand Prix, a high-speed, high-stakes race across the galaxy where the winner receives fame and fortune beyond their wildest dreams, and the losers often end up as a burning heap of scrap metal on the side of the road. It's a lineup that includes bounty hunters, criminals, superheroes, and octopi, but Gomar and Shio are unique in the fact that they compete as a duo. Hailing from a planet where all denizens are paired up with a partner at birth, these two fellows have been practically joined at the hip their entire lives. The diminutive Gomar brings the brains while Shio supplies the brawn, and together their unmatched teamwork gives them the edge when racing in their custom machine built for two. Does this count as cheating in a sport where everyone else is competing solo? Perhaps, but those other competitors don't have to worry about how to split the prize money if they win. Number 9, Solid Snake and Otacon, Metal Gear series. Most media would have you believe that jocks and nerds are natural enemies, but it's only because many fear the power they would wield if they were ever to join forces. When muscles and book smarts come together, nothing can stop them. Solid Snake is the quintessential super soldier, a genetically engineered clone of his former commanding officer and a master of all types of weaponry who has saved the world from disaster more times than you can count. And yet, despite allegedly having an IQ of 180, Snake remains a consummate field agent through and through, relying on his support team of experts and other smarty pants types for intel and analysis. The best soldier deserves nothing less than the best backup, and that's where Hal Emmerich, aka Otacon, comes in. After being rescued by Snake, Otacon soon becomes a core member of his team to provide technical information and field support, a truly remarkable turn of events considering Snake watched Otacon wet himself only moments beforehand. Following that mission, the two form their own independent operation and become so close that they even end up raising a child together. Both on the field of battle and off, Solid Snake and Otacon have forged a bond in blood, sweat, and soiled trousers. Number 8, Vincent and Leo, A Way Out Partners come in many varieties, marriage partners, tennis partners, business partners, but none have quite the same closeness or dramatic potential as good old partners in crime. This is the exact relationship in which Vincent and Leo, two convicts sentenced to the same prison, find themselves the beginning of A Way Out, a game that's so dedicated to the chemistry of its protagonists that it's only playable in two-player co-op. After overcoming their initial distrust of each other, to discover they have a common enemy, the two join forces to bust out of the stony lonesome and set out on a quest for revenge against the man who betrayed them both. While the two men may be partners, they're also a study in contrasts. The soft-spoken and collected Vincent couldn't be more different from the hot-headed and often violent Leo. However, it's these differences that make them work so well together, as they're able to cover each other's weaknesses and stay alive, which is practically a full-time job given the number of car chases, shootouts, and hospital visits gone awry they're faced with. While they may be hardened criminals, you just can't help but root for these two as you watch the bond slowly form between them. Heartwarming. Number 7, Master Chief and Cortana, Halo series. Computers are everywhere these days. They're in our pockets, in our cars, heck, they're even in our office coffee makers for some reason. 
And once they start putting computers in our heads, because you know they will as soon as they figure out how, we can only hope they're half as good to us as Cortana is to Master Chief. Trained since childhood in the ways of war, John 117, better known by his title of Master Chief, becomes one of the main weapons in humanity's arsenal during their struggle against the alien forces of the Covenant. Leading crucial aid to Master Chief is Cortana, an artificial intelligence loaded directly into his armour, from where she provides analytical support as well as running commentary on the Chief's exploits. On the surface, Master Chief and Cortana are a perfect team, able to pull off dangerous missions that no one else could do by working together together, but their chemistry goes far deeper than just that, as Cortana also serves as a mouthpiece for the Chief, who usually prefers to play the strong, silent type, making them a defining aspect of each other. They're true friends and comrades to the end, who would never let anything come between them, right? Number 6. Kratos and Atreus, God of War series not all of us are fortunate enough to have a good relationship with our dads. Generational divides and differences in opinion can make time spent with family stressful for many. But maybe all they need to do is kill some giant monsters together. That always does the trick for my family, and it's done the same for the family of everyone's favourite rage-filled god of war. Kratos and his son haven't always had a smooth relationship, of course. In fact, it's been more than a little rocky at many points throughout their adventures together. Both were devastated by the death of Atreus' mother, though they expressed their grief in different ways that caused them to butt heads as the young and reckless Atreus chafed under the stern upbringing of his father. But even at their most fractured, the two remain at each other's side, both willing to gut it out for the sake of their family, and in combat they form a lethal combination of blades, arrows and fire. Lots and lots of fire. Through their many trials and tribulations, Kratos and Atreus are able to form an unbreakable bond of trust as father and son. Because remember, the family that slays together, stays together. Number 5. Mario and Luigi – Mario Series if you guessed that these two are going to be on the list, well, congratulations! So did everyone else. They're practically number one and two on the list of greatest video game heroes, and you can't talk about one without mentioning the other. Well, you can, I guess, but it would sound weird. Mario and his longer, lankier twin brother, Luigi, have been inseparable literally since birth, which is also how long they've been saving the Mushroom Kingdom together. While the two frequently engage in their own solo adventures, they're still rarely very far apart from each other, and if you see one Mario brother, then it's a fairly safe bet that the other is either the one being rescued, or is ready to jump into action at a moment's notice. But where the brothers Mario truly shine is when they get to team up for an adventure, because it turns out they have quite the extensive repertoire of tag team manoeuvres, even if many of them do seem to involve inflicting grievous bodily harm on each other. It's okay though, folks, because they're not real. Whether as adults, babies, or somehow both at the same time, the Mario brothers are a duo that are truly super. Number 4. Toe Jam & Earl – Toe Jam & Earl series Pro tip, if the name of an entire series is also the name of the leading duo, then chances are that duo will end up with a spot on this list. Case in point, Toe Jam and Earl. For posterity, Earl is the big one that looks a bit like a slug, and Toe Jam is the one that looks like, um, a bit of bacon, maybe? These stars of this quirky, offbeat little series are a pair of aliens hailing from the planet Funkotron, who, while travelling together in their spaceship, have crash-landed on the most dangerous, inhospitable planet in the known universe, Earth. If they want to get home, they'll have to work together to retrieve the scattered pieces of their ship, while avoiding hostile enemies like giant hamsters, devils, and hula dancers. You know, the average dangers we Earthlings have to face every day. The game was a hit, and Toe Jam and Earl were made men after that, sitting just below Sonic on the list of most recognisable mascots for the Sega brand. And even after parting ways from Sega, the two have remained steadfast favourites among gamers. Console generations have come and gone, but the fellows from Funkotron have endured through the decades, the occasional misstep notwithstanding, thus proving once and for all that Funk truly isn't dead. Number 3. Ratchet & Clank – Ratchet & Clank series the PlayStation as a brand had a bit of a struggle in trying to find its own proper mascots. They tried raccoons, they tried cats, they tried… whatever the hell Polygon Man was, but most of these didn't last longer than a few years. 
Ratchet and Clank, however, are a twosome that have carried the PlayStation banner for years, and have continued to stand the test of time even to this day. They're like two peas in a pod. Ratchet is a plucky young mechanic with a heart of gold, while Clank is his defective robot pal with a heart of… dunno, wires? I'm not a robotologist. Together they face down dozens of threats to the galaxy, from mad scientists and megalomaniacal dictators to game show hosts. What makes these two work so well together is that they're a package deal. Ratchet and Clank have remained by each other's sides through everything, even as their contemporaries booted their sidekicks out of the spotlight. And if adventure calls on one of them, the other is sure to answer as well, as long as they're not busy moonlighting as a secret agent. And when put together, this duo of a robot and his mechanic are much more than the sum of their parts. Number 2. Sam and Max Sam and Max series we do love a good buddy cop story, but like with most stories, we always end up asking, wouldn't this be better if it had a talking dog? Turns out, yes, it would. Throw in a rabbit, sorry, lagomorph, and you've got a recipe for success. Whilst the titular characters got their start as heroes of a comic book series, many know them better for the acclaimed adventure games they've starred in as far back as the 90s. Sam and his partner Max are self-proclaimed freelance police, a pair of overly enthusiastic private investigators slash vigilantes who will take on any case that comes their way via orders from the commissioner. Their methods are questionable and frequently include a rather gratuitous amount of violence, and yet they always seem to get the job done, for better or worse. As partners, Sam and Max work like a comedy duo, with the more laid-back Sam operating as the straight man for the hyperactive Max and his looser sense of morals, and their chemistry results in some truly explosive hijinks. They're perfect foils for each other, a delicate balancing act that could easily veer off course, but is instead steered perfectly by hands of years of experience behind the wheel. Just be sure to wear a seatbelt when you're along for the ride. And number 1. Banjo and Kazooie Banjo-Kazooie series. You know them, you love them, they had to be on this list. The iconic Bear and Bird are practically the poster children for dynamic duos in the world of gaming, to the point that they don't even have an ampersand between their names, they have a hyphen, a hyphen for crying out loud. The two are denizens of Spiral Mountain, a quiet, cosy little place to live if you don't mind the occasional witch-related incident. When trouble does rear its ugly head, Banjo the bear and Kazooie, the curmudgeonly backpack-dwelling bird, are the ones called upon to shoot eggs at the problem until it goes away. For the bulk of their adventures together, the two are literally inseparable, as the closest Kazooie comes to leaving Banjo's backpack is sticking her legs out to take a turn carrying him for a change. In Banjo Tooie, the two do learn how to work separately, but it's never long before they're reunited, and the bulk of their moveset still consists of tag team manoeuvres that they can only perform together. The legacy of Banjo and Kazooie is so strong that it inspired waves of attempted successors, but while they're often imitated, they're never duplicated, because this duo is one of a kind. Well, I guess maybe two of a kind? Ugh, you know what I mean. 